Garcini, and Ruben Uriarte. Please give them a big applause. Yes, they deserve it. They're all wonderful. They're all teachers, masters. <laughs> he has some doubts there, but you know, it's his mind. <laughs> Just his mind. It's an illusion. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being until the, the end of the New Earth Expo. Thank you for being here, all the Spanish-speaking people. Thank you, Mila. Thank you, Tyrone. I don't know your name. <laughs> I'm Mark Lejeune. Right, this is Marcus. There was somebody else and he got sick, right? Yes. Uh, I'm standing in for Filippo Voltaggio. I'm a co-host of Life Changes with Filippo Radio Show. And we're delighted to be here with, uh, with Emmy and all of you for the New Earth Expo for this panel tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is a very important event because the New Earth is it's a life-changing experience. It's a change of consciousness. In Spanish, we call nueva conciencia. That means new consciousness. To let go all patterns of negativity and get into our soul and to see and to search what is there. So we're going to give a beginning to this uh, wonderful panel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. And again, thank you for having us and allowing us to share this exchange of information. Uh, what a wonderful night it is. And uh, I'm going to start out by allowing the panel to introduce themselves one by one. Um, and along with that introduction, uh, I would like you, in ten words or so, to Give me your perspective, big topic, small answer, on what is the shift, the shift of the ages, this 2012 that uh, we're all so excited and, and curious about. Uh, so we'll start right here to my left with Dorothy Donahue. Hi, thank you for being here. I have been a channel of the Archangels, the Ascended Masters, and my favorites, the star beings, ever since I can remember. I'm very excited about this shift. It's a shift of consciousness, and it's a shift from living from our heads to living from our hearts. Hi, this is Coyote talking to you. I'm a, a Toltec a Toltec a master a magician of the Lima, and um, I think I'm going to be speaking about the shift of the ages from the perspective of the aeonic progression that follows the cycles of uh, astrology and the changes that happen all over uh, the planet uh, every 2,000 years or so. Blessings, everybody. Blessings. It's good to see you. My name is Ifala Day Tashia Asante, and I am a priestess in Ianifa and a, a Orisha priestess of Yemoja, and also a priestess of Arumala in the Ifa tradition, which is an indigenous African spirituality that comes out of Nigeria, West Africa. And some of you may know me from the role that I played in the reality TV show Mad Mad House, which aired on the Sci-Fi Channel a few years ago. I was the priestess um, that played on that particular TV show. And in terms of the shift of ages, I'm going to speak to it from a spiritual and indigenous perspective um, of how I've been able to do my work as a healer, as a seer, and intuitive, and medium. And some of the things I'm going to talk about are just the elusive walls. When I think about the shift of ages, I think about the elusive walls that divide us. The many, many walls that divide us, our religions, our gods, our genders, our economic and social status, the food wars, the wars for territory. 
that divide us, that make us think and believe that we are different from one another. So when I think about the shift of ages, I think about a shift in those beliefs, a shift in the acts that come from such beliefs. So I'm excited about this dialogue tonight. I just want to thank Emmy and Dean for their great vision in putting this event together and thank my fellow panelists. I look forward to hearing what you have to say as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Javier Quijasi Chinot. <clears throat> you see, I'm dedicated to, to put back the ancient music of our ancestors. For me, it's very important because I'm um, spending my whole life to put all together. Um, for me, it's very important to keep the traditions in the families and also you know, the new times is coming right now. We have, um, to be an artist, we have a big responsibility to change the world, to help, and trying to teach the new, the new generations with a new mentality to change this world. So, so I'm trying very, very hard, spending all my life studying, living with different, <coughs> different indigenous people, uh, learning the whole kind of ceremonies, rites, and, and the whole... Thank you. Ah, much better. <laughs> okay. Ah. We'll start again. <laughs> uh, and, and you know, and, and it's, for me it's very important, you know, to keep these traditions, teaching, sharing with everyone, especially with the kids, with the kids, because I work in, uh, in, the, in different schools to teaching kids to have a uh, um, to bring a lot of seeds and growing in different way. All right, now don't answer all my questions before. <laughs> you know, in different ways. So I'm going to come back so, to you on anyway, that. So anyway, so this is like what I'm doing, and I feel very, very happy to be here with you. And thank you. Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Darshini. And uh, I'm a claircognitive. I'm also a teacher of spiritual, um, kind of unique, different classes. Uh, regarding the shift of ages, I really feel it's to do with a, uh, it's not a global, it's a universal. It's going to reverberate right through the universes because there's all times of dimensions and universes. And I feel that there's going to be a bit more. Um, uh, cohesiveness with other dimensions with the we don't even acknowledge and that's what basically the energies are shifting my name is Ruben Uriarte and I have a bumper sticker in my car that says shift happens I don't think that's going to come out in Spanish it's supposed to be a joke you know shifts ha happens no <laughs> anyway um, I do um, a lot of uh, UFO research, uh, along with MUFON Micho UFO Network, but I also have had the opportunity to travel to many parts of the world um, and meet with different investigators, different cultures, different people, and different perspectives. Uh, I've had a lot of unusual things that have happened. Um, I've had the opportunity to be into a hundred crop circles and at least minimum, because uh, with through the crop circles we see a shift that's occurring. So I've had some interesting experiences in that, as well as uh, had some interesting sightings as well. So I wish to share those, those things that not only have shifted me, but have shifted a lot of other people. And we we're going to see it over, over a period of time. And it's starting today. Thank you. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you all. Yes, for our panel. <laughs>